Hi, everyone. I am G1 Rider with G1 Insights. This message today is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. I am actually going to just do a part two tarot reading, and then I will return very soon with an individual reading for each and every last one of you. So in other words, Aries will get their own personal reading, Sagittarius will get their own personal reading, and Leo will also get their own tarot reading, okay? So if you guys are new to my page, please like and share and subscribe for all the latest updates and notifications for my channel. That way you can be on point whenever I post something or release a video about something or go live perhaps, okay? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or even Venus and Sagittarius, Leo, I mean, or Aries, okay? This is for you, okay? So the message I am receiving is that whatever it is that you guys are feeling or will be feeling for the month of April is not going to last forever, okay? I feel like for a lot of you Leos and a lot of Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, sorry, no, 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 a lot of you Leos and a lot of you Aries, every year, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, okay, and if you don't believe me, you can actually go review my videos from last year around this time. Leo and Aries, you guys, this because this is like the start of a new astrological new year, okay? Aries, you are the first zodiac sign. And the astrological new year kicked off in your sign. In the month of March, we dealt with a lot of strong emotions in regard to communication, our finances, our health, and overall well-being. We dealt with a lot of tense emotions when it came to our relationships and family and things that really, truly meant a lot to us. And for a lot of you, I feel like you really, truly sacrificed a lot and this season is really about you releasing those energies. So I'm going to get into your cards, okay? Your heart chakra came out in reverse. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looked like. So your heart chakra came out in reverse, okay, like this. And when your heart chakra comes out in reverse, it means that something is being blocked. Love is being blocked. So your heart chakra represents anything that feels like love, anything that, um, any type of love or heartbreak or relationships or um, anything dealing with heart failure or heart attacks. Pay strong attention to your heart chakra this season, fire signs, okay? Now, Leo and Sagittarius, I'm Leo, I keep saying Sagittarius. Oh. Leo and Aries. Leo and Aries, you tend to go through these deep emotions every year around this time. So I'm not sure if you guys notice, but you do. Last year for Leo around this time, someone passed away. Okay? Or someone was very ill and you were with someone that you really loved and you were very close to that person and you had to either separate from them or you had to move away from them for whatever reason. Aries, it was pretty much the same way, but it was not death. And I feel like you guys are going through that transition again. But the only difference is 
you are aware of your emotions this season. And so, I see anxiety here as well. Let me point that out to you. I see anxiety here. A lot of you are like sitting up late at night, stressed, worrying, losing out on sleep, not really sleeping too well. Um, a lot of you are constantly obsessing over this idea, over the situation, or over this particular person. You're wondering if they're okay. You're wondering if the situation will work out in your favor. And I mean, the answer to your questions is absolutely. The an I mean, everything is naturally going to work out for you, okay? But the, the thing is, your heart chakra is blocked. And that is something that may you may want to seriously work on. Whenever your heart chakra is blocked, it is literally stopping love to flow to your way. It's really saying to the universe, I don't want love. I'm not giving any love. That is not what I'm doing. And so even though you may be in a situation right now where there could be potential for great love for you, a lot of you have the, your, your guard set up a certain way. Like you refuse to believe anybody else that says I love you. Or you, you have this guard up where you really don't trust um, anyone at all, right? the second so it's not that it is not going to come to you but it's like as in this very moment for a lot of you this is very puzzling and I feel like that is why I'm so like sketchy with my words today because I feel like um there's a lot of different emotions like one minute you're happy, the next minute you're really sad, the next minute you're frustrated, the next minute you're pissed off, the next minute you're really, like, uh, intuitive, and the next minute you're really relaxed. So, I feel like your energy is kind of scattered this season, and I feel like I'm not just talking to Aries people, I feel like I'm also talking to Leos as well. <clears throat> now, Sagittarius, your energy is more about... Being balanced and getting back to your self worth, being balanced when it comes to your work, your education, being balanced when it comes to home related issues, your finances, making sense of it all, you know, trying to balance school and work for those of you that do both, or maybe you're trying to balance work and home. Okay, but I do also see the angel of balance here, but I feel like this is more for my Sagittarius, and it did come out in reverse, okay? The angel of balance, when something is off track, okay, we don't feel like ourselves, we don't feel like things are going to work out, we don't feel like, you know, the universe is working it all out for our good, like we don't feel that way. Okay, and a lot of times it's because we are living an unbalanced life. We are not in full alignment with what the universe has for us. So, just look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the light. But, she's holding something that is really valuable. Something that truly, truly means a lot. Let me see if I can do that. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so she's holding something that's extremely valuable, something that means a lot. The camera is really jacked up. And she's looking at it like, hmm. Okay, so this is what it feels like to have a life that I am in control of. That, you know, I don't have to fight for what I deserve or I can be content with whatever God gave me. So, Sagittarius, I just overall feel like this is your energy where you are, where you need to get back to that, okay? That place of contentment, that place of satisfaction, you need to get back to that, okay? Because a lot of things in life right now for you is unbalanced. And I'm not just talking about spiritually, I'm talking about sexually, um, financially, um, even for some of you, it has been a tough road, okay? 
But for you, Leo, and Sagittarius, I mean, for you, Leo, and Aries, I feel like there's a lot of anxiety to work through and allowing your heart to heal. I feel like for you, Aries, I feel like you have suffered a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. And it's taken everything in you right now not to want to give up and not to say no and not to shut it all down. It is taking everything in you to remain strong. And I don't know why. See, this is interesting because if you guys have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your birth chart as a sun, moon, or rising, or Venus sign, please review their video as well. Their reading was just as deep and just as emotional and just as serious. Please, please review their video as well. Aries, whatever it is that you have gone through, whatever it is that you are dealing with right now, this is not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. You do have support. You do have support. You do have people that are in your corner. But your old way of thinking when it comes to love and when it comes to trust, your old way of thinking, your old perception, you have to begin to release those, those bitter emotions and those bitter feelings about this other person or this situation a lot of you are so bitter and a lot of you are so upset and it's not saying that the rest of the year, year is going to be that way what it is saying is that the sooner you deal with the situation and the sooner you release all of this old baggage and this old um passive or pessimistic way of thinking that things can move on and that you can be successful, that you can be happy, you can have good love, but something or someone has truly hurt you or something is hurting you. But I feel like if you have any type of zodiac sign in your birth chart that represents strength, like an earth sign or um, like an air sign, anyone who is not that emotional, Okay, if you have any one of those zodiac signs in your birth chart, then that may help you get through this difficult season where you're not so stressed out, where you're actually just observing from a distance. And even though you feel what is going on, you won't be so emotional. So if you do have like an earth sign, zodiac sign in your birth chart, or if you have an air sign in your birth chart, then that may help you to develop your mental skills a bit more um and it would also help you not to be so upset or so emotional going through this particular time that you're going through right now i feel like try to write start writing whatever it is that you are feeling or whatever it is that you will be going through this person needs to hear from you and I think with you all writing each other or sending an email, shooting a simple text message, I love you, how are you, I miss you, like those type of things. Or, I really don't want you back, I wish you the best, but I have to let you go. You decide in this very moment what you really want, Aries. And you, Leo, I feel like a lot of you are going through these moments of anxiety. You don't know what's going on. Or maybe you have been through that moments of anxiety where it seemed like everything is like falling apart. Maybe there's been a lot of pressure. Maybe there's been a lot of stress worrying about how you're going to get something and how you're going to do it. And the universe is here to remind all of you fire signs that 
the best has yet to come. The best has yet to come. It is not over yet. So whatever you are feeling, it is just a lesson or a moment or something you're supposed to learn from, fire signs. It is something you're supposed to learn from, something that you are supposed to uh, take heed from. I feel like the universe wants you to know something. Sagittarius, try not to be so impulsive during the month of April, okay? Because... Jupiter is going to go retrograde in your sign, April 10th, okay? And it's going to make everything seem like this person really wants you, this person really loves you, or the house is f fantastic, or the kids are beautiful, or the marriage will be great. It's going to paint this, this picture of, you know, like everything is just just right and it's perfect and it's beautiful and nothing can tear it apart and if you're not careful Sagittarius okay if you're not careful with your dealings with people you will be burned and you will be scarred and you will be hurt if you do not take heed to what I am saying okay Do not be so impulsive. Do not rush into this relationship. Do not rush to move in with this person. I know Mercury Retrograde is over, but we are still dealing with some of that energy at least until the second week of April. So please, please, please be very mindful of the promises you make. Be very mindful of the things that you say and the things that you do. Make sure that you are not saying or trying or making promises to people about things that you can't really keep. Okay, be very mindful of that. Um, Leo. I hate feeling this way. I hate feeling this way. Leo. Someone you love someone that you love. I feel like this year is not necessarily death, but I don't like speaking about these things. For some of you, it may be just that. For some of you, it already happens a year ago. And I feel like a lot of you are reminiscing about this particular person. Or you were having deep, loving thoughts about someone who had to leave temporarily. And they, they will come back, Leo, but just not right now. Or maybe this is the end of a particular cycle. Okay, Capricorn's reading was very similar as well. I mean, not Capricorn's, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Their reading was very similar about releasing something and... It, it may come back. You know, they say when you really love something, you'll let it go. And if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. So, Leo, try not to um, fight too hard for, for this union, okay? It's going to happen whether you like it or not. It has to happen. And even if these people separate or they disappear for a little while, it doesn't mean that they never cared for you, that they never loved you. But for some of you... You need to separate yourself from this person or from these people in general. I feel like for some of you, this could be a relationship. And um, maybe now this person is maybe going back with their children's mom or their children's dad. Maybe they're deciding that they want to work it out with someone else. Maybe they're deciding that they don't want to be with you anymore. Um, so regardless if they come back or not, I want you to still take heed that this is still a lesson learned because I want you to start to think about what you learned about yourself while being with this particular person. Or this was someone that you were really close to, like a sibling or a grandparent or a, an aunt or an uncle. I want you to start thinking about what lessons have they taught you while they were around what did they teach you what values did they bring to your life i want you leo to start thinking about that aries 
We need to work on your heart chakra, my love. I feel like there's a lot of great potential for love to come your way, but you have this guard up against you. I just saw a light. You you have this guard up against you, like you're so protective. And I feel like it's like you, you want to give love, but you're just not sure. You're not sure if this is what you want to do. And you're not sure if they're the right person. You're not sure if this is the right time. You have a lot of doubt and a lot of questions. This person is genuine, but they, I feel like they're also afraid. I feel like they're also afraid. They, I feel like both of you are like this. You know? I feel like both of you are like this. And the universe is asking you to be like this. You know? So, whatever past hurts you are dealing with, you have to let it go. If you don't, you'll end up resenting yourself. Overall, fire signs, it's not that, again, I had to do these individual readings because I just had a feeling that everyone's reading was going to be very deep this season. And so I wanted to be able to do a partial reading for all of you, but I definitely will make sure that I do an individual reading because I feel like everyone's energy is different and this is definitely going to play out differently for each and every last one of you. But I do know that a lot of you are dealing with a lot of imbalance, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of hurt. A lot of you are resenting, some, resenting someone for leaving you. You are hating this person for leaving you. You are pissed the fuck off that they keep leaving you or that they did leave you. You are upset. And some of you are trying to fight for what's yours a lot of you are like listen i don't want you to go i need you i need you i, I messed up so i definitely am going to do an individual reading for all of you um i am past my 20 minute mark oh Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, your reading is so deep. It's reminding me of Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. So if you guys are dating a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or if you have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces in your birth chart somewhere, please review their reading as well, their partial tarot reading. Read that as well or look into it because there was a lot of deep, tense emotions in that area as well. Also check your sun, moon, and rising sign if this does not resonate with you because what I'm feeling is very deep and it hurts. It hurts. Somebody is really, really hurting. And I'm, I'm just like hot. I'm sad. Like I'm going through the motions. And I feel like this is a lot of you guys' energy. I, I mean, ironically, I don't feel like it's Sagittarius too much. I mean, I feel like they're pissed off more about other things, but I don't think it's love. I think that what Sagittarius is more pissed off about is their finances or about the people that they are dealing with as far as business matters are concerned or career-related issues. Um, or maybe someone wants to move out, Sagittarius, and maybe you don't want them to. So, but for the rest of you, for Leo and Aries, I, I feel very strongly that this is about someone you really cared for. This is definitely about someone you love. And I think that this is bringing up an anniversary of someone who either passed away or who moved out. Or maybe you are deciding that you would like to move out. Maybe you're fed up with the situation. Maybe you're ready to leave. But I do feel like an ending to something or reminiscing about an ending that did take place. Now for you, Aries, I do feel like this situation just keeps happening. And you are getting fed up and tired of the situation happening. And you are saying enough. 
is enough. I deserve more. I deserve better. I deserve clarity. I deserve to be happy. So for you, Aries, this is really, really interesting and really, really deep. So I'm definitely going to have to do an individual reading for all of you. And again, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. So please comment below and let me know what you guys all think of this video here or the reading that I presented. I know it wasn't as open as you guys like it, but I will be back with an individual reading for all of you just because I want to give you a broader aspect of what is really, really going on. I wasn't expecting you guys' energy to be so strong, okay? So I love you all. Please comment, like, and share, and subscribe for all my latest videos and contacts and notifications, okay? Thank you.